Here we go again. All right, don't need to see these. We'll just hide these for a moment. Or for quite a while. All right, we need some images of the Max Club. So what I've done is I've had a look and I've found this site, Silodrome. Silodrome, need to mention their name because the images are protected, copyrighted. Right, so if you look on the other, some really nice pictures as well. That inside's gonna be a pain to do. Yeah. Some nice details of the interior. Seat on the door? Possibly, I can't remember if that was for his dog or something. Nice shot of the engine bay. There we go, contents are protected by copyright, so go back to the top. Right, so also I've found here also is the make and model of the 1973 Falcon GT. Copy that. Highlight, Control C, New Tab, Control V, Paste. There we go, print images. Alright, so we need some. So right click on it, a nice size, save image as. See where we had our other images, that will be just a side image. Saved. Front, another decent size. Save image as. Front. And a rear. Same size, right click. Save image as. I'll just call that rear. Okay, so. Need to drag a box around them or highlight them. One, left click, control, control, and press it. And display them. And then mouse wheel to scroll through them. Right, as we can see here, the wing it comes down and then has a lip. So if we create this edge around the bottom of the wing and then pull that out later on. Also, if we look at the Max car, obviously this has a body kit on, so it's going to cover pretty much everything we create with that, but it's nice to have that there anyways. So, okay, we'll leave that open because we need this for the reference images. We could download all these if you want to. I have created a PRF, but I uh, have to pay for that, so we'll leave that for now. Right, so minimize that. And shift you to the side for now. Back into Blender and three on the keypad for side view. And look at the screen cascade is turned off. Wow. Anyway, here we go. So uh, if we highlight main, this is where we want to keep our specific parts for the body. And when I zoom in. Right, we need to create a vert, so we do a shift here. Um, we can go through single vert, but I'll just create a plane for now. Okay, so we'll do a rotate on the Y, 90 degrees, rotate Y on the 90 degrees, enter to commit, move it over. Right, so at tab into edit make sure you're on one for verts select them x one just to remove them and move that vert up to the bottom of the wheel arch all right so now if we press control and right click it extrudes the edge so we simply create the arch okay nice bit of tidy up okay so I like these from the top in fact we need the A first and select all of these and move these over to the edge. Oh, is that the centre one? 
Yes, okay, so that's the center of the wheel arch. So these now need to be lined up. There we go. Since this line's pretty hideous, you just kind of got to eyeball it. Go to one. See how it's followed it within reason. Oops. There we go. Now let's rear all of these. The seven from the top on the keypad. Deselect that and slide these out slightly. As the car gets weighed, as it goes further down the body. There we go. And from one, now we can't really see how much that tucks under. Actually, what we could do is we, we could quickly hide the front image. Kind of gives you the shape of the back, but we'll need to pull that in. That one, pull that in also. Pull these inside of this edge because this bit is at the back, isn't it? So these will be narrower. And then pull them front again. So as the car progresses further down the back it will eventually get as wide as that part there sorry there we go so that will continue and then it will it is wipes point over that rear wheel arch there so let's give these a little tidy up again highlighting each word try to keep a nice distance in between all of these here there we go all right so there we go it's quite dark isn't it but i can see there it doesn't quite give a nice line to it there we go okay from here again press three on the keypad what we need to do now is extend these up. Actually thinking about this, give a look at this image again. So we need to be this edge here. Oops. So I'm thinking is that can't imagine why they would put the paint job on the blueprint but that pretty much looks like where it is doesn't it all right so what we're doing just to be safe we'll make this just a slight bit wider grab all them ones at the top and slide them up a bit so what we're doing here is just making that a little bit wider so we've got that wheel arch on the wing and then that edge will be pulled out to create that lip okay so from here what we need to do is extend these up to this mid body line here so it's nice and simple highlight them three words in the middle and then press a for extrude and then z is basically just just going up isn't it and drop that one it's pretty much on there in the line there move these ones up also i know it's very slightly inclined there we go to follow this shape we kind of need to pull these to the side also and then basically all we need to do is do the same for all those so we have this edge along here 
and then these this one will extend up this one should be able to extend up and then these three will extend forward so we'll do these ones here so we'll x e for extrude again z straight up and we need to follow the curve so we'll pull it out a little that one also we might get away with this and two on the keypad a uh, keyboard for that one and then press f and that should flip <laughs> And see what we've done. So we'll highlight them four and then press F. Out of here, so we'll fill. And then these three extrude on the Y. Move that one up a little. We need to create an extra edge in here, I think. Right, okay, so we'll do a control R on that to add that loop very quick. And is that going to start work? We press A for all, M for merge, and select by distance. And now we just need to pull this down a little. GG. It works at the bottom there. There we go. So we'll slide along whichever edge we want to go. So we want to go down. Go this much, these ones here, and then we'll just pull these back in again. So we'll GG and slay them back. There we go. Alt Z to go to X ray mode. Still curious about this edge here. Is this the paint job? Well, it seems to follow. Very strange. Anyways, here we go. Here we go. Pull that up just a, and then out a little bit more. Right, so this also. Um, select these. One, two, three, four. Extrude X. No, nope. Y even. creator for this one <laughs> extrude and just move that to two there this one is going to need to follow the curve and there we go so I like them four and press F for face or fill same with that one there we go there we go so now as you can see that's creating this new wing shall we say Quickly drop out the tab and do a quick control S for save. Always save. 